everybody, how are you all doing? Welcome back to one of my random improvised chatty pre-travel vlogs. Again, I never know if I'm saying these words in the correct order, but I think you guys understand. Hi, I'm Iku from Iku Tree. Um, I'm usually an art channel, but I sometimes go to Japan and I take you guys with me. And since you guys really like it, I'm taking you with me to on this trip also. Uh, starting from the preparation, so we've had three little vlog type videos before. First one, you guys helped me choose my next travel journal, which is this one. I'm very happy you picked it out for me. I use Insta Stories, and even though you know, like this is a small channel, I have a small following, you guys picked out the best one. This is the one I used. Oh my god, it's sticking. <laughs> this is the one I used last year, the first time I went to Japan solo on my own. It was, it was about like a month this time i'm going for a little under two weeks um so this is what it ended up looking <laughs> like so i expect that this beautiful little thing is gonna look quite similar <laughs> after my trip uh second week you helped me pick my next umbrella which is again a very like it's it's adequate with the theme that we've been going four that you guys have picked out for me. Week three, which was last week. Uh, I'm saying that in terms of weeks, but I'm not exactly uploading these every week. So let's say like pre-travel vlog three, I chose my um, hostel. Not with you guys, because I can't really reveal where I'm staying. Again, I'm sure you understand why. I explained how I picked out my hostel for price and uh, like access and everything like that so now I have my hostel ready and now we're well into the holidays and I'm really starting to prepare what I'm going to be bringing with me on my trip like really thinking what do I still need to buy what do I still need to plan for in my little tidy budget uh, <laughs> so yeah first of all guys happy holidays um, hope you're having a good time if you're not big hug big cozy hug with my little onesie um, it's actually my mom bought it for me for Christmas thinking that it was a rabbit but I think it's a penguin what do you guys think it's my first ever onesie i've wanted once for like ever but i mean it's not like the thing you're like oh i have a few extra bucks in my bank account i'm gonna go buy a onesie now that's not really how it goes so i got my first ever onesie and i'm wearing it for you right now because it's really cozy and it's cold and uh yeah let me know what you think it is i'm it could be a rabbit with like no ears it's got like these cute little earmuffs things but i'm saying it's a penguin what do you guys think Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Happy holidays, done. Recap of the previous weeks, done. Um, I don't even know why I improvise these things, guys, because I'm all over the place. But yes, it's the holidays, segue into... I got a few Japan-related gifts for my Christmas. I've been very spoiled this year. So I'm going to show you now some of the things I got for Christmas that I can take with me to Japan. One of the things I really wanted, and that's what I asked my mom for Christmas, like as the main gift was a backpack because last year I borrowed a backpack it was mine and I wanted something that was a little more me and that I could keep and use on other occasions so I got this cute ass backpack I it's on the floor and it's covered in cat hair but oh my god it's like I never had something like this before like it's um this cool fabric but it feels sturdy you know it's not like your, your typical um, camping travelers backpack so I guess you guys can now recognize me in the streets if you're in Japan and you see like this tall girl with this backpack holding this umbrella probably wearing if you guys can remember again like the OG fans will remember this hat that I bought I think in Osaka I think even, I'm pretty sure it was Osaka. Anyway, bought it in Daiso because it was raining all the time. I might broken my umbrella, so this is the hat I wore. And obviously, of course, after that, it stopped raining, but I still wore it and I'm still wearing it to this day. Probably needs a wash. That's no, okay. <laughs> so yeah, come say hi if you see this person. <laughs> I'm a little weird, I'm a little shy, but I am pretty nice, I think. Let me put this in the background so it's not on the floor anymore. Yeah. I also got some more guides, so I got the huge Lonely Planet uh, Japan guide and I also got the smaller Tokyo in a few days Lonely Planet Planet guide. So more things to read, more things to put into my 
um, travel journal. <laughs> it's gonna be really hard to decide where I'm gonna go with the amount of days I have. I really do want to see everything, but I have a feeling that, like, even if I put like 10 things to do in one day, I might end up doing like three because once you're there, you're thinking like, oh, it's only gonna take like half an hour, but you're there, you're exploring, I'm gonna be filming, I'm gonna be taking photos, I'm gonna be like maybe going off track, like on the way to something, I might be like, oh, this, this little street looks cute and interesting and I might get lost and yeah. I know I'm gonna want to see so many things and also I know I won't have time to. Something else I received, um, I actually asked for a, finally something to put my camera in because I've been putting my camera in like this pouch which is not practical at all. The camera keeps turning itself on and I keep losing my battery charge so I finally got a normal camera pouch thing. So yeah, my only camera, the Canon G7X, that I still have since the beginning of YouTube. It's still working, almost died in Osaka last year when I took it under the typhoon, which was like the dumbest thing I've ever done. It's still working, fingers crossed, touch wood, that it keeps on working because you know the reputation for these cameras to like break their focus or break the screen or have like screws loose, so Fingers crossed, uh, I have two camera batteries, the one that I'm using now and this one, which is not enough, but I don't know if I'll be able to afford a third one. Maybe, maybe it might be necessary. I did survive last year with only two. Same with the SD cards, I only have two. So, fingers crossed. So those are the Japan things I received, the backpack, the camera thing and the guide. And thanks to you guys, I have my travel journal, my umbrella. I've also, uh, dug through my old travel things. Oh, what did I put it so far away? <laughs> Good thing I wasn't stupid and put everything away in like random places. I found most of my random knickknacks from last year in this little pouch. So thank goodness for that. I got my um, charging power bank thing. For my phone because my phone loses I have to charge it back like three times a day because it's a really old iPhone the only thing is that one of the ports USB ports it broke so it only has one which really sucks but again I don't think I'm gonna be able to afford another one of these so yay I don't know anything could happen guys again thank you for everybody who supported me so far I'm really grateful I've had some commissions I've had a one or two sales but for those who have supported me like either leaving comments, which I really appreciate, or buying stuff to help for this trip. I'm really grateful, so thank you so much. Um, we'll see if I'm able to buy a few more things that could make my trip more comfortable, but if I don't get them, I'll, I'll survive somehow. Hold on, hold on. Is this, is this all the, ugh. is this all the promotion you're going to give yourself? Is this working? Yeah, hi. Hello! Well, my videos aren't monetized yet anyway, so this is my 30 second unskippable, and probably not 30 second, mid-video advertisement. Yeah, yeah, hmm. So how do I do this? Hang on. Ha! Maybe I should start by wearing the merch. I should have definitely earned this. I have a red bubble store where you can buy some of the things that I made. T-shirts, notebooks, mugs. If there are some things that you'd like to see from me, like some recent pieces of art, some old pieces of art that would look good on a t-shirt or a mug, just let me know because I can make it for you. Or, or rather, I can put it on Redbubble and they can make it for you. Also, ugh, these are 31 days of These are 31 days, 31 days of original Inktober Art. These are the actual pieces of paper that I drew the art on and I'm selling them right now If you don't know what Inktober is, you need to check out the videos I made about it So you know how much I suffered making these and they are all on sale right now on Etsy Currently at minus 40% guys with free international shipping until the listing is expired Once it is expired, it is gone 
forever so i hope that maybe you guys look at city Hugh from death note so yeah go check them out before they're gone finally longest advert ever i uh yeah patreon i've relaunched my patreon i've already mentioned it to you guys but have you seen this these rewards i mean look at these cute bun tiers there's a cinnabon there's a steamed bun there's a burger bun there's hot cross buns and there's a friggin banana bread Do you get it buns cuz bunny have you seen the rewards on my patreon because I have made them with you guys in mind and I hope you like them because they give me a little bit more work every month but I am to please let me know what you think of the patreon rewards social media social media social media links in the description below I think I said everything and uh, yeah time for me to go uh, in here like I said I still have oh yeah that thing this thing is um, a scale for your luggage, for your suitcase. Thank goodness I had this last time because I left with an almost empty suitcase and came back with so many things. And I was like, shit, I hope there's not too much. I hope I didn't buy too much. And uh, luckily I weighed because I could put some things in my uh, backpack for the airport, for the right back. So yeah, get one of these, invest in one of these on Amazon. It's not that expensive. It kind of feels like it's a, like a gadget, but honestly, I got a bunch of luggage tags, which I don't need, but I they just came in like a bunch. Get the solid ones. I got oh the plugs. Yeah, this is. I'm lucky because this is all I need for the European plugs. And honestly, a lot of things have USB chargers over there, so that's good too. What else is necessary? Uh, oh, and um, hair. Lock pads. That was really important on my first trip because not only you need those on your suitcase, but if you're staying at a hostel, they often either don't have uh, lock pads. They call it a keypad, lock pad. I don't even know. The, either don't have any available for the lockers, or they will charge you uh, for one. So invest in these and obviously get the little uh, TSA approved ones for the airport. This is it for this little pre-travel episode. Those are the things I already have. Things I am considering getting are obviously uh, more charge for my camera, maybe a new um, power bank thing but that really bugs me because I have one, maybe another SD card. Something I might actually really need to get is an external hard drive. Um, because of all the footage I'm going to be getting. That's what I did last year and I filled it up. So I need a new one. That's another thing I have to put on my list as a big maybe. I also mentioned like the fluffy thing that you put on top of the camera microphone so it doesn't go like every time you're in the wind. But yeah, let me know if you think of other travel essentials I should consider putting on my list so I can figure out what I should really get or things that I can survive without. Keep telling me your recommendations. I'm so grateful for you guys to be following me on this trip. It's gonna be so much fun. It's coming up really soon. Not that soon, but really soon also. The next video, I will probably talk more about some things I really do wanna do in uh, Tokyo, you know, in Tokyo area when I'm there. So yeah, keep them coming. Appreciate you all, appreciate your support as always. I know that I can have fun in Tokyo with a small budget, just filming and walking around. I just want to make it interesting for you guys. So let's do it. Let's do it together. Okay, I think that's it. I, in the last video, I didn't do the L thing. I was like, no, during my editing, I forgot to do the L outro, but I mean, who cares? But I'll do it for you right now anyway. So. I'll work you all guys. Bye!